Okay, g'day and welcome. Uh, this is going to be some tutorial videos on making this uh, remote control plane. Um, the idea of it is to get schools into the UAV challenge. So check out the UAV Outback Challenge uh, website to know, know what that's about. For, for the meantime, we're going to make this plane out of Depron. Real low cost. Um, it's an, based on an extra 300 and I'm going to show you all the parts that you need and exactly how we need to cut it out, stick it together and make it move and uh, at the end we'll go out and uh, give it a bit of a test flight. So let's have a look at the parts. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the parts that we've uh, got in front of us. Some of you that are watching this video would have had a bag supplied to you. So uh, we've got the quick lock zap uh, bag here. Uh, we've just unpacked one of them and I'll show you what we've got in the bag. So. Sort of start, um, we've got a bit of a system going through here with which bits connect to which bits, but it's not uh, totally accurate. Uh, we've got two GWS uh, 11 by 4.7 um, props, and we've also got two 10 inch props as well. Um, we've provided two because generally that's the first thing that snaps when you crash your plane, uh, and also to experiment the differences between the 11 inch and the 10 inch. Uh, we've got a Turnergy uh, 2830, um, let's just have a look at the specs here, for the motor uh, 2830 AZJ, it's 14 amp and 1100 kV brushless motor uh, and we're paying about um, $8 for this so I'll provide a spreadsheet with all the parts and the um, pricings but to give you a bit of an idea We've got a six pack of each of these and they're about five dollars each, eight dollars for the motor. Um, we've got this receiver here. Uh, this isn't a, a genuine receiver, it's found, we got it off the net um, and I've got links for that for you but it's about ten dollars. These little bullet connectors, these have come from Model Flight. Um, we could get them online but for now I've, I've got them from Model Flight just in Adelaide and uh, we've got their DB3s and you get three pair in there so you've got uh, for each of these these wires we need a little bullet connector and we're going to talk more about how it all comes together. We've got a Rhino uh, 1250 uh, LiPo battery, it's 20C and it's two cells so we've got 4.7 volts for the battery and we're going to talk a bit more about that in detail later on as well. For now I just want to show you what all the parts are and where we've got them from. Um, I've got a Hobby King uh, 18 to 20 amps um, electric speed controller so we're going to connect this speed controller to the battery and also to the motor and also to the receiver and we'll see how it all works later on. I've got uh, four Hobby King servos and they are, let's have a look at the pricing for that, Hobby King servo um, 1.6 Kilogram is their rating and 12 second micro servo, servo and we're paying about $3 each servo so that's pretty cheap. Um, we've got some carbon rod, about a metre length of carbon rod um, from model flight and that's got a 2mm diameter and then some control horns with nylon clevises um, are going to make it easy for us to adjust the, the wings or the elevators at, um, rudder and um, aileron. So, and to go onto those rods and attach to the Depron plane, we've got some control horns and we've got a, um, a Debro 107 um, control horn and then we paid $3 for the set. So you need four of those, four rods um, and one carbon rod. And then down here we've got a Turnergy battery charger, paying about $25 for the battery charger from Hobby King um, online and a little battery monitor that we've got for about $3. Um, so that's going to be handy for when you're out in the field rather than putting a multimeter on it. You can just plug your battery straight in. And last but not least, we've got a simulation cable and some drivers. Um, this part of the package we won't really need. It's this part that you're going to be interested in. A little USB and a mono jack. Um, and that's going to plug straight into your computer to be used for a flight simulator so you're not crashing your plane the first time you go out flying. And we've finally got just a little knife and we're paying about 20 cents each for these so we thought we'd include them for you. So you've got nearly everything that you need in terms of parts and we're just going to have a look at what you need to supply. So we've got some sticky tape and things like that that I'm going to show you now. 
Okay. Okay, so we'll have a look now at uh, the sheet layouts. What we've done for you is put them tied across A3 sheets rather than a big A0 sheet because not everyone's got access to a printer that size. So I've made them um, to an Adobe uh, PDF and it's across nine or six maybe uh, layout sheets. So we'll have a look at putting them together. I'll show you just quickly on Inventor and I've got my screen being captured here. Um, what the plane's going to look like. So I've put the 3D model together in Inventor and the idea of that is so that you can, in your classroom, have a look at how the plane works. So if we just go to the side view for a second and we'll have a look at this, um, this joint and you can see in here that we've got a 45 degree joint and we're going to cut that with a Stanley knife later on and that's so that the, the um, aileron can move up and down freely without crashing uh, into the side. You can't have two flat surfaces um, moving against each other obviously, so we need to come to a point. So things like that are easy to see if you can see the whole model. And now you're going to have all these part files provided to you uh, and if you're out in the wider community and want access to them, uh, we, can, we can get them to you as well. So give me an email or something like that and I can send you all the inventor files and also the sheet layouts if you want to have a go at this. So I've got the whole model drawn up here and if we have a look over in uh, Adobe, I've got a sheet layout here and this is on A0 and what we've done is tiled that across um, a, a few sheets of A3. So uh, we're going to start putting this A3 together and um, we'll just change, yeah, change angle.